We'll talk about the four championship drivers all night long. Whoever finishes the best gets the crown. Green flag in the air. We are racing at Phoenix. I think at least five wide, Michael. I hope folks at home didn't think I was kidding about that, what they would see when they threw the green flag, and it's only going to get more and more dramatic as the night goes. Wow, look at that pack of trucks. Majeski with a great start, was able to get that jump and driving off to a nice lead right now. See Christian Eckes all over the back of Corey Heim. That's a battle for the second spot. Eckes is going to try to make a move for the mover on the outside. Look how down low Heim is able to run below the yellow line. No out of bounds here at Phoenix. You can go wherever your truck will stick. See that yellow truck, that's the 88 of Matt Crafton. He's the last truck on the lead lap right now. And the caution's out. First caution of the Ooh, night. right in front of our leaders. Heim nearly taken out. It's Frankie Munez in the Ooh. 27. That got, my, that got my attention. That was close for Heim. Yeah, just as we... Suspected the caution came out so close to the end of the stage. We will finish this stage under caution. Oh, McGee didn't know the one truck was up under him. Or excuse me, Munez. And did you see that by, by Corey Heim? Woo. Wow, by the narrowest of margins. Heim has won six times this year. And very strong right here in Phoenix a season ago. Won the pole and won stage two, led 47 laps. And he's going to pick up the victory in stage one tonight as the caution comes out with three to go. And he'll follow the pace truck around one more time and see that green and white checkered flag. Two title contenders on the front row. Majeski outside lane, the control truck, and Eckes getting after it in the 19 down low. Now that was a nice launch by the 19. He's got his nose out in front. Majeski's able to run hard on that outside and get the position back. Look at Matt Crafton. Let me see if I can count how many wide that is. Three, <laughs> four. Oh, it's still tight. And look at Corey Heim. He's jumped up to second. Grant Infinger trying to make the inside work in the nine. That bright yellow truck back in fifth. Yes, yeah, Sanchez, that two truck, black and yellow truck, has done a nice job here. Staying up in the top five. Chances are it won't be, but I, I think we got a plan on it. Second caution of the night, trouble for the 91 of Jack Wood. Hard contact with the outside safer barrier for Jack. He scored in the 27th position. Boy, Jack that's... competed earlier today in the ARCA race here at Phoenix. Yeah, finished fourth in the West Series points. Today was their finale. Jack was hoping for a good run in the truck. Had a little bit of speed yesterday in practice, but I'd say that's going to be terminal, guys. Catch what happens here down on the bottom of the racetrack. It's on the inside of three wide. That's Bailey Curry in the middle of 41. Oh, nice job by Daniel Dye avoiding that 91 spinning truck. See Bailey Curry probably came down Bailey, off the racetrack as well. Bailey went a bit lower than Jack was anticipating, and when you when you miss, you're not sure what someone's going to do. You're already committed. I think it just took him by surprise. And it's Majeski outside of Heim. Look at that battle already. Bumping and banging. You said pushing and shoving, Mike. <laughs> and I also said four and five wide. <laughs> We've and got if, all that. If you can count it in there somewhere, it's there. Heim able to sneak by on the restart. A little crossover from Majeski as they head to turn three. An eye on that two truck of Nick Sanchez. He's been solid in this first stage and a, a bit. There's Lane Riggs also battling for a top five spot. Adam, you talked about in Milwaukee how that th thing really came on late. There is battling Connor Mozak right now. He's ahead of schedule, actually. I, I said he did it in the final stage. Here we are midway through stage two, and the 38 is surfaced at the front. Ty Majeski has taken over the top spot from Corey Heim. Happened while we were away. It doesn't take him long to make a move, does it? He was able to gra grab the lead. First of all, he slipped down on the bottom. They made some contact. Look at that. Sideways is a Majeski. Didn't work on the bottom, so you know what he did, Phil? Let's go down this other end, try on the top. <laughs> that was a real close call.
call down there. And I love how Corey Heim felt that he was there and moved up the racetrack to give him more room. You see him now. You can hear him get out of the run. You can hear the tires squealing. And now, let's go up top and try to get this done. And Corey Heim realizes we have a long way to go. We're only halfway in this race. It's been a good night for Ty Majeski. Been a great weekend, actually. Good in practice yesterday. Qualified on the pole earlier today. And he's been out front for over 65 laps. He takes the green and white checkered flag and wins stage two. And no then, surprise, Majeski takes the outside lane for the restart here, Michael. He can take whatever he wants and he's going <laughs> to drive off away from him. He's just so fast on the short run. Sanchez is inside, right behind him. Second in the championship chase right now, Christian Eckes. Look at Corey Heim. Way down low. Sanchez trying to jump out to the race lead. How about Majeski going to fight back on the outside off of turn two? Whoa, into oh. the wall. Connor Mozak into the wall. And there it goes around Tyler Ankrum. Ankrum in the 18. William Sawalich out of shape. And this can happen a lot at this racetrack. Contact on restarts. Let's see if we can tell why. I think Mozak just ran out of room trying to go on the high side of Eckes, battling up in the top five. Yeah, I think Stefan just caught a piece of the 18 of Tyler Ankrum. Look at Matt Crafton, the veteran, the crafty veteran slipping through that mess. There you see how Mozak just ran out of racetrack. Pretty hard hit for Sawalich here. Boom, into the inside wall. I think that's why Stefan moved down the racetrack to give Sawalich room and again, just clip the 18 of Ankrum. And the drivers involved in the crash, not the only ones having an issue on this restart. Let's look back once again at Corey Heim. We wondered if he dove to the bottom before the start finish line. And NASCAR deemed that he did out of line before the start finish line. He'll have to serve a drive through penalty. And it's hard to believe that that's his first penalty all year. No speeding on pit road, anything like that. Restart, 43 laps to go. Majeski Sanchez on the front row at Phoenix. Majeski. Here comes Eckes. Eckes not wasting any time. Three wide for second. Sanchez going in the wrong direction. Riggs up to second behind Majeski. How about Enfinger, yeah, Michael? Grant, yeah, Grant to the bottom. Can he crack that top five? Behind in finger his old teammate Raja Karuth haven't said his name a lot tonight. Uh oh, Connor Jones just with his like, teammate battling with Jake Garcia's like, teammate. Like we saw earlier, just couldn't make the corner considering that Garcia went lower. Wasn't prepared for that. But great job of swinging around the outside. Is that Ben Rhodes? It was Ben Rhodes, another one of the teammates for Thor Sport. Well, there's a lot of them. So there's there's a, lot, a lot of them out there. <laughs> Look at Corey Heim right there. He threw it up in third gear and gunned it off turn two. Whoa, Ben nice Rhodes. Nice job by Ben Rhodes. That's incredible. Listen to him shifting. I almost ran out of room there against the inside wall. We can see out his right side window, that 66 truck going around. But it was offense for both the 9 and 19 here. They come down pit road. They will be on the attack. I love it. And I know Jeff Stankiewicz and Grant Enfinger have been planning to be on offense for the last 50 to 70 laps. Yeah, Grant knew that he didn't have the truck to go win the race with, so they had to do something different. 33 to go. Goes Corey Hine. Heim from eighth, up to fourth on the restart. Oh, trouble! Working that low lane, there goes Lane Riggs. Caution number five. Nathan Bird in the 0-2. Make it caution six, six yellow flag of the night here at Phoenix. Guys, you look at our ticker, left side of the screen, Corey Heim, eighth to third. 
And one, one set of corners. One corners. Majeski Sanchez, front row, 27 laps to go. Doesn't sound like that many laps, Adam. Don't say that to Joe Shearer, Ty Majeski. <laughs> Look it in, finger, bam! Five wide on the bottom. And passing trucks, passing a lot of trucks. Heim is clear in second. Sanchez falls to third. But Eckes now on the outside up to about the fifth spot. We were talking in finger. Here comes Eckes. He too has those fresher tires. And here it is. One to go for Ty Majeski. I love how you set up what he's accomplished, Adam, in this sport. How hard he's worked for this opportunity and how deserving of a champion Ty Majeski is going to be. Off of turn two with a huge advantage. What a night for Ty Majeski. He dominates in Phoenix. Ty Majeski is your 2024 Craftsman Truck Series champion.